everyone welcome back in this video we will see lesson 2 network configuration commandlets in module 2 so the first topic managing IP addresses so to create a new IP address we can use net um, sorry new bash net IP address and to set up properties of an IP address we can use set dash net IP address and to display properties of an IP address we can use the uh, get command and followed by net IP address so if you look at um, the net IP address so uh, this noun is you know common um, most of the cases for managing the IP address and these were the commandlets that used to uh, manage the IP address and uh, these were the parameter basically that uh, used for uh, you know creating the new IP address so you need to specify the IP address and uh, the interface alias the default gateway prefix length so this is uh, the sample example how to create a new IP address so we can specify new dash net IP address and uh, IP address parameter to uh, specify the IP address and you need to uh, specify uh, which uh, interface so for that uh, put the uh, interface alias parameter and then uh, specify which Ethernet or the NIC card that you would like to assign this IP address and uh, the prefix length and uh, the default gateway and then we will be able to create the new IP address and uh, next managing routing so to create uh, an IP routing table entry we can use new dash net route and to set properties of an IP routing table we can use set dash net route and similarly for um, display the properties we can use the get command and to delete it we can use the remove command and these were the commandlets that we have just seen and uh, these were the parameter for uh, you know creating the new routing and uh, this is the sample example so next to managing dns clients so to get details about a network interface on a computer we can use a get dash dns client and to set dns client configuration setting for a network interface use set dash dns client and to get the dns server address setting for a network interface so let's say if you want to find uh, what is the dns address the dns server address then you could use get dash dns client server address and to change the DNS server address for a specific network interface, then you could use set dash DNS client server address. So these were the commandlets, and uh, this is the example set dash DNS client and interface alias. So this is to specify the ethernet of i mean the interface the nic card that you want to uh, set this uh, dns and the connection specific suffix and you are mentioning the domain adatom.com and next managing windows firewall so to manage the windows firewall we can use the following um the powershell command Say for example if you want to create a, a new firewall rule then you can use new dash net firewall rule and the parameter that you have to specify and uh, similarly for uh, 
uh, changing or modifying any properties then you can use the set command and to remove it meaning if you want to delete any firewall rule you can choose remove dash net firewall rule and these were the commandlets and the following command enable firewall rule in the group remote access so with this command we are enabling the firewall rule in the remote access group and we will see the demonstration meaning the lab in a separate video So all these will be covered in a separate video when we do the hands-on lab. So next we'll see lesson 3, other server administration commandlets. So the first topic, group policy management commandlets. So these were the commandlets used to manage the group policy. So to create a new group policy object, then we can use new dash GPO. And to retrieve any group policy object, then we can use get command, get dash GPO. And to modify the properties of an GPO, then we can use the set command. And if you want to delete any of the, um, the group policy object, then you can use the remove command remove dash gpo and rename dash gpo to rename of any of the existing uh, group policy and these were all the commandlets used to manage the group policy object and this is the sample example to create a new group policy object so new dash gpo and mention the name of the group policy it team gpo and uh, the parameter starter gpo name it starter gpo and the following command links the new gpo to an adts container and next uh, server manager commandlets so uh, to get up information about a windows server role services and the features on the local computer we can use the git dash windows future command and to install any roles or services or future then we can use the install dash windows future command and to uninstall any of these role or services or any of the future that had installed already then we can use the uninstall dash windows future and to add uh, any uh, future then we can use add dash windows future and remote dash windows future which is a uh, windows server 2008 auto equivalent of uninstall okay so these were the commandlets and this were um, one of the example for installing the uh, network load balancing on the local server install dash windows switcher and nlb so next Hyper-V commandlets. So there are more than 160 Hyper-V commandlets. So you must install Hyper-V module by adding optional Windows feature. And the commandlets that you know um, use one of the following prefix VM or VHT and VFT. So these were the example so these were all the commandlets for the hyper-v 
and next IAS management commandlet. So to create a new IAS website, we can use new dash website. And to get a properties of an IAS website, you can use get dash website. And to start an IAS website, we can use the start command. And to stop it, we can use the stop command. For creating a new web application, we can use the new dash web application. And to delete the web application, we can use the remove command. To restart web application pool, we can use the restart dash web app pool. So these were all the commandlets to manage the IAS. And these were the sample example to create a new IAS website. So we can use the following command in the console and uh, can execute it. Okay, so um, there will be a lab for this module and uh, that we will see it in a separate video. Okay, so that's it in this video. So we have covered uh, all the lessons in module 2. So thanks everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again.